fruits and vegetables are not only great to eat, they can also liven up your landscape. Well, Sonia Goins goes in the garden now to show us some edible ground cover. I'm at Bachman's in Plymouth with Susie Bachman. Hi. Susie, hi. Uh, what do we have here? Well, we have some wonderful veggies and herbs that um, you can use in your landscape as a, a border, if you were going to do a, uh, a flowering border or a little ground cover. You can use lettuce. We have some Swiss chard or arugula. You can uh, line your perennial bed with those, and they look great. They provide different foliage textures and color, and you can eat them all summer long. Just keep going out there and harvesting them and bring them in and have a nice, you know, tossed salad. Um, Even strawberries, huh? Strawberries. So if you want a, a great ground cover, if you're having a, a problem with weeds growing or, or uh, just a hill that the soil is eroding, grow some strawberries. They mat wonderfully, hold the soil in. I mean, who wouldn't want to just go amongst a strawberry field and, you know, consume all the sweet uh, sun-ripe strawberries? And so. they take over your yard, too, don't <laughs> <laughs> they? Get, they, you know, strawberries have runners on them, so they do spread, and, and you can find them all over the place. But if you have an area in your yard where you want that, you want a true ground cover, that's kind of the definition of it, plant a strawberry and, you know, uh, it's a great edible ground cover. Great. So you can also use them as perennials or shrubs. Rhubarb is a beautiful plant and it has nice big leaves. It's very full and, and dense. So amongst your perennial garden, it would be a beautiful addition. And uh, if you've got those, those strawberries nearby, you can just whip up a strawberry rhubarb pie, which, you know, all your friends and neighbors would think is absolutely yummy. Sounds perfect. <laughs> But um, you can also uh, grow blueberries or raspberries uh, where you would normally plant a shrub. So uh, the thing to remember with blueberries is they do like an acid, a more acidic soil. Uh, so you would have to amend the soil uh, so it's more acidic. But they serve as wonderful shrubs, will keep uh, bearing fruit for you and uh, just a beautiful plant as well. Susie, thank you so much. For more information on this, just go to our website, 12.tv. And the biggest thing they tell us to remember about raspberries, blueberries, and other small fruit is that they need at least six hours a day of full sun. And this year, that might be hard to get. <laughs> yeah, just six hours. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs>